Hi guys, today we're looking at Roxio's Game Capture HD Pro capturing software. Now we're not going to be looking at the editing software today, we're going to save that for another video. This video is mainly focusing on the capture software and what you can do inside of it, and some of the settings you can adjust to enhance your picture, or just in general enhance your video. So, this is how the capture software looks. And as you can see from what I just did, it's quite slow to respond. So when it pulls itself together again, once you've been messing around with the preview size, when you're not changing it to full screen, you see here, I'm just dragging it out slightly bigger, and it it does just take a long time to reconfigure itself, which isn't that practical, of course, but um, to be quite honest, uh, it's not really an issue if you're not going to be moving it around. Let's face it, you're not. You're just going to be opening it, that's it. Um, but let's get down to the nitty gritty of the software and what you can actually adjust. So here we've got a source, so your Roxio GameCap HD Pro, the input HDMI or component, I want HDMI, so I'm going to leave it on that. The settings, um, M2TS file, that's what it records to, and you can adjust your capture length, so you can untick that, and then it's unlimited, it will just record and record and record until your hard drive's full, I suppose, and then you can just set capture length, you can set the hours, minutes, seconds, whatever. So if you know exactly how long you want to record, you can just adjust it. You've got your quality here, so you've got, say if this is a scale from 1 to 10, you've got um, right at the bottom, so worst quality and then the best quality. What I don't like about this is that the scale isn't really that um, specific, there's no little notches to where you can adjust it to, it's just kind of a scale, and wherever you go is wherever it records at. There's no 1 to 10, it's not like 1, 2, 3, 4, you can't do that. It's just a minus and a plus, and wherever the arrow is in between is where it records. So if you've got an idea of what kind of recording quality you want to go for, it would probably have been nicer to have had notches to know your exact recording quality, um, but what can we do? Uh, you've got your save too as well, and I'm just going to show you this because I'm not too keen on this particularly. This browse location folder comes up. Now, I don't particularly like this browse folder because um, I just I just prefer the one that Windows uses. Some programs, if you select Browse, it comes up with a Windows location folder, and, you, and then you can just save like that. Um, this, I, I'm not so keen on. But you, cre you can create new folders, rename folders, delete folders, and stuff like that, so that's pretty useful. Um, and once you've set that up, you don't have to look at it again, so it's not that much of an issue. Um, you've got your input here, and it says your status, whether or not you're ready or you're not. If you're not ready, then you need to adjust your capture card, or unplug, replug the USB. <clears throat> I've seen a lot of people on the internet having problems with the status saying not ready. Um, I It came up for me as well when I first got the software and all I had to do was just unplug the USB, plug it back in and it worked. If that doesn't work, maybe take it out of one USB and plug it into another one and then it should work. Um, if you click on this little button here called Enhance Picture, you get your brightness, hue, contrast and saturation levels come up. Now again, you get this slider with no notches but uh, it doesn't really matter. You can adjust it to the highest and the lowest for the brightness, the hue, the contrast, and the saturation. So that's quite good. Um, along here on your preview screen, you can mute your preview audio or unmute it like that. Um, you can go to full screen. Now, do, do not get confused with the full screen option. This option is not so that you can play your game full screen on your PC monitor. It is not for that, okay? I've got so many people, on my Elgato video, I've got so many people saying, can you play it through your PC monitor? No, you can't. There is a delay of uh, just a few seconds. And those of you who say, there shouldn't be a delay, it should be instant. Don't forget that it's running through your capture card, then through a USB cable to your computer, which then has to process the video onto the preview screen. So no, you cannot play it on your monitor. Just to, just to clear that up for anyone who's going to ask in the comment section. Because so many people asked that in the previous video for the different capture card. You can also grab screenshots on this software as well, which is really useful. So you can grab a screenshot, maybe of a certain kill, whatever. Um, and then you've got your adjust your recording volume. I've got mine middle-ish because I don't like it too loud, but then I don't like it basically muted. Um, you've got your options here as well. So you have general, so you've got your profile, HD 720, video bitrate and the video location where it's going to record to hotkeys to start and stop recording and then your live stream options now all you have to do this is really really simple to set up actually you just literally have to click login type in your username and your password and it logs you in once you've done that you can check your bandwidth 
and then you can check your video presets so you can go to 720 whatever you can stream I unfortunately can't stream which is pretty useless um, so this feature is practically there's no point having it for me but for those of you who have good enough upload speeds to live stream then it's good for you um, what's also good about this is you have your audio device and you can use your microphone and you can live stream and commentate at the same time and just stream that onto Twitch so for those of you who don't know Twitch, what Twitch is it's just a live streaming website similar to live stream I suppose <laughs> um, it's just primarily games just a gaming website and it's great for gamers so many gamers use it it's a great way of connecting with community and this is a great feature inside of the software it enables you to reach out to a larger audience who enjoy watching live streams and of course then live stream to your audience as well which is a great feature um, so if you want to live stream you just hit live stream as I said I can't my upload speed isn't good enough but that's what you'd click if you want to start capturing you just click start capture that's it and that's pretty much it for this software now unlike the Elgato software there is no time um, there is no time bar at the bottom where you can go back and record previous things that have been done say on your console you've played a game and now you're playing another one but you wanted to record something from the previous game on the Elgato software you could go back and record that previous game without having to change your console settings anything you could just record it from the software um, that's a really good feature and although I've never really used it, I know there's a lot of people that have, so it's a bit of a shame that Roxio doesn't have a similar kind of setting inside of this software. Um, but what it has got is a really simple, nicely laid out interface that's easy to access, it's easy to use, and it is really simple for recording. So in, in general, I think the software is really nice to use. The, the actual software like colors could be a little bit more vibrant I'm not too keen on this um, dotted background it contrasts a bit too much with all this information but um, but really it's fine there's nothing really that's an issue with that that's just a personal thing for me those are, there might be people out there who love it so in terms of the actual software as I said easy to use quick simple it's straight to the point there's no messing around with the software there's no hidden settings that you're gonna after you've done your whole gameplay playthrough you're gonna go back and say oh no look I left this off it's all there um, there's a nice little organizing section here when you record a new video it goes to the front obviously um, you can change your thumbnails you can have it to details instead of thumbnails with text but I prefer just thumbnails so you know what you've recorded then you've got all media files so you can arrange it with images audio files only or video files only and then you've got your A to Z as well, so you can record it by name, you can sort by name, size, date created, etc. And that's pretty much it for the um, Game Capture HD Pro software. I'm going to now leave this video with a quality test of Halo 4. I thought it would be a good game to um, show, as it's very, a very vibrant game. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave you with a bit of gameplay. Feel free to um, check out Roxio.com, the link is in the description, there, to their website and this product. Um, check out my Twitter as well, follow me if you want to keep up to date with more videos, upcoming videos, technology, film, design, anything like that. Um, so yeah, I hope this video has been useful in kind of showing you the software, what you're going to be getting. For those of you who don't have the Roxo Game Capture HD Pro, I hope this has helped you understand what the software will be like if you were to go out and buy it. And for those of you who do have it and maybe a little confused with the program, I hope this helped too. So yeah, thanks for watching. And here is the quality test.
Request confirmed. 